Now, power for the fifth day in a row after Tuesday's deadly bomb cyclone down trees and power lines all across western Washington. Even though a lot of progress has been made, Puget Sound Energy says they will have to push back the estimated restoration times for many customers. Come as Ryan Sims has the latest. Let there be light here. There is that traffic light, so we see progress. But not there. Man, it's really rough because being stuck in the house with just your entire family, like nothing to do. Since Tuesday, power has been restored to half a million people on the east side. While well, tens of thousands of more folks are still in the dark. We have a bit of like reception now finally, so we're able to like contact people and talk to people. And Throughout it all, PSC has hoped that noon on Saturday would literally be the light at the end of the tunnel where power was restored to everybody. Yet as damage assessments continue and more destruction is uncovered, PSC workers say now it's likely some folks will still be in the dark over the weekend. And so I'm just stuck downstairs with my family and it's like, it's rough. <laughs> the result, those without power flocking to places with power. We saw like a, the inside of Costco last night and we were like, wow, we haven't seen <laughs> Lights in a long time. To see artificial light is kind of crazy. Like we went to school the other day and we're like, what is this? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Currently 143 line crews are working around the clock. And this, the aftermath of the east side's biggest storm in at least 18 years. Ryan Sims, Como News. PSC says some families will get their power back around noon today. More restorations will wrap up at 6 p.m. tomorrow, and they hope to have the power back on for everyone by 10 Monday morning. Well, here's a look at the latest power outage numbers. Puget Sound Energy has more than 86,000 customers without power. Snohomish PUD says more than 7,000 people remain in the dark, and Seattle City Light has about 1,500 customers waiting for their electricity to get turned back on. The Como 4 drone captured this scene in Issaquah as a crane cleared fallen trees. It crashed onto homes during the height of the storm. Como's Jackie Kent has more on the ongoing cleanup effort. Take a walk around Squawk Mountain in Issaquah and you'll hear chopping wood, power saws, and neighbors discussing next cleanup efforts. But ask just about anyone and they'll tell you they can't forget the sound of the bomb cyclone hitting their neighborhood days earlier. And you could just hear the crack boom from the trees hitting, the power transformers blowing out. Uh, it was like a hurricane coming through here. The Como 4 drone shows a crane removing a massive tree from a home on this block off Mount Fury Circle and Mountain Peak Boulevard Southwest. Next door, the homeowner explains two trees fell on his roof, destroying the carport and knocking off his chimney. And down the street, you can't miss this massive tree completely uprooted. For reference, I'm about 5'7", so I estimate the top of those roots are about 15 feet high. Luckily, this tree did not fall on the house, but it did hit the power lines. Now it's taking the entire neighborhood's help for the days long cleanup. As multiple telephone poles look like they're just barely hanging on. Neighbors say PSE estimates power could be restored here within the next several days. So some families are preparing to celebrate Thanksgiving elsewhere. It would take a squadron of PSC guys to come out here and actually fix it. It would be a miracle. Ron Fall says while it's chaotic and still dangerous around here, it's this tight knit community getting each other through the hard times like they have before. Looking at all this devastation, what gets you and your family through all of this? The community is just so great and they come together and we'll be talking about it like we did back when the snowmageddon can't happen we'll get through it and it'll be kind of a memory reporting in issaquah jackie kent come on news the city of issaquah is hosting free events for people to drop off yard waste over the next three sundays at tibbetts park we have posted the details on our website come on news.com and in sammamish a pair of fir trees needed a dramatic removal operation they are the largest in a series of trees that collapsed on a two-story home while the owners were inside now the good news is they were not hurt but the removal company had to cut the trees into sections before lowering them down with a crane I always knew that some of these trees were kind of dangerous, and I thought, well, maybe one would come down. But when they all came down, it cascaded. And I think the only thing to save the house was this uh, arbor right here. It took the first impact. Much of the Sammamish Highlands remains without power right now. Puget Sound Energy crews, of course, they are working around the clock to try and restore service. In California, drivers in the Sierra Mountains are facing a different weather extreme. New video posted to social media shows drivers trying to get across the pass in 
a snowstorm there. The National Weather Service says the mountain range could get as much as three feet of snow this week.